I think as as people, it's a very human thing, isn't it, to make judgments and and make assumptions about people. We do that on the basis of people's appearance, on the basis of the way they're dressed, the way they speak, the language they use, the words they use. I think particularly in this contemporary age where uh, maybe we feel as Christians that that we're very different from many people in wider society. Maybe we've heard some teaching about that. We've kind of heard about some of the big issues that people disagree with us about. And we meet somebody who who takes a label and identifies as an identity or uh, a behavior or is in a relationship that we believe is is wrong and that scripture teaches is wrong. We can assume all sorts of things about that person. We can only see the sin and not the good things that are gifts of God's grace in that person's life. We might only see the areas where the person differs from us, where they disagree with us, and not the areas of agreement that might be the beginning of a relationship in which we could start to talk about the things we disagree. So I'm not saying we ignore the differences, but we can find the common ground that allows us to build a relationship. But also we can make assumptions. If someone uh, takes a label for themselves, that can mean so many different things. That could mean simply that somebody thinks in a particular way. It might mean that they are tempted in a particular way. It might mean that they act in a particular way. So I'm thinking particularly about sexual identity, for example, that um, someone might use the same word to mean a very different experience of life than someone else using the same word, but actually their experience is very different. So I think the bottom line in all of that is that we need to listen carefully to people. We set aside our judgment. We delay that. Not that we never make judgments. We have to be discerning. We have to figure out what people are saying and where sin is an issue in their life. But if we haven't listened well first, then we, we really might miss the point. We might be answering the question we want to answer, not the question the person is asking. So we need to listen well, spend judgment, um, and build relationship and find common ground. And then in those spaces, begin to talk about the Lord Jesus and about our differences.